Hey YouTube, I'm back, and I know I haven't been on in a while, and I do apologize about that. Just my schedule at work just didn't allow me to make any YouTube videos for quite a while. I know it's been about three, four months, but I did, in that time period, pick up a ton of new items that I can't wait to show you guys. And I, let me get started, because I'm actually, actually gonna, I actually picked up so much stuff. I'm actually going to break this up into several different videos. And uh, this is more of the smaller items I've picked up, mostly uh, games and whatnot. And uh, I'm actually going to show you other big box games I picked up and other nifty items I did acquire in the last three, four months. So let me get started with the uh, two strategy guides I picked up. The first one is the Borderlands 2 Collector's Edition Guide, which comes in this hardbound book with kind of this nice gold foil finish. Real great game. And I had to pick up the guide for it. This is actually one of my favorite games currently at the moment. Um, and that's a real nice guide to go along with it. All right, moving on to my other strategy guide. Uh, this one's actually pretty cool because it's actually for a game that never actually was released. And that is the uh, Prima strategy guide for the Dreamcast version of Half-Life. Um, Half-Life being one of my favorite games of all time. And this is an interesting one because uh, the game actually never came out on the Dreamcast. It actually was finished but uh, the Dreamcast was pretty much dead at that point, so they never actually made a retail release. You can, I think you can actually get like a, uh, a pirated version of it, and you can actually run it on Dreamcast, but it was never officially released. So this is really cool. It's still sealed, and I think it's a nice piece of Dreamcast history. All right, moving on to the two PC games I got. The first one is the uh, Borderlands Double Game Add-on Pack, which actually has two of the expansions, the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned and Mad Moxie's Underdome Riot. Both really good expansions. And the other one is a sealed copy of Borderlands 2 for the PC. Really great game. I play the hell out of it on my 360 currently, and... Um, I'm sure the uh, PC version is really good as well. I did get one Wii game. It's a sealed copy of uh, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, which I hear is a very good game. I just um, haven't really had time to play it yet, so it's still sealed. I did get a few handheld games. The first for the 3DS is Paper Mario Sticker Star. And uh, again, this one's still sealed because I just haven't had time to play it yet. Also got, and this is a GameStop exclusive, is the uh, One Piece Romance Dawn. And it's actually a, a limited uh, edition. It's actually uh, numbered. So this is uh, 11,022 out of 16,800. And it comes in this nice foil case. Again, still sealed. And the uh, final 3DS game I got is the uh, Bravely Default collector's edition and uh, due to Amazon stellar shipping it has a few creases in it so nothing too terrible I've seen other uh, YouTube videos of people doing unboxings where they're in a lot worse of shape but still it's just really annoying that it, it was kind of bent up but still I hear it's a really good game uh, moving on to the uh, PS Vita I got the, this was only available on the NIS America website, and this is the uh, collector's edition of Trigger Happy Havoc. So it comes with the, um, the Vita game, the uh, strategy guide, and I think something else as well. I haven't opened it up yet, and uh, I'll do that eventually. And maybe I'll do an unboxing on YouTube. All right, I did get one PS4 game. I actually did pick up a PS4, and I only have one game for it. And um, I actually didn't, I wasn't a big fan of this game. I actually thought the number, the third one was a lot better, and that is uh, Killzone Shadowfall. It did a lot of things in this game that I really didn't, do not like. It's a lot of little things, but um, I just did not really, not a big fan of this game. I thought the third one was a lot better. Um, I do have a bunch of uh, PS3 games. I have a um, sealed copy of uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, again, I just really haven't had time to get to it. But it is a Metal Gear game, so of course I had to pick it up. I also got the, uh, I think this was a GameStop exclusive, uh, the Steel Tin version of um, Beyond Two Souls. Uh, and this game was 
not very good. It was boring, and uh, I did not like it at all. And I th th this is the uh, final PS3 game I got, and this is something a little bit more my speed, and that is the uh, Gran Turismo 6 15th Anniversary Edition. This was a GameStop exclusive, so it has different box art, and it also comes with uh, 25 cars with special livery and enhancements and some special paint. Uh, nothing major, but I just think it's a really cool. As you know, I'm a huge car guy, so I had to pick that up. All right, moving on to the 360. I ha got the uh, add-on content pack for Borderlands 2. And since I'm a completionist, I also got the uh, Borderlands 2 Game of the Year edition, even though pretty much the, this has all, it, the, Borderland, the Game of the Year edition has everything that the uh, add-on pack has. I just had to get the uh, add-on pack. Also got the um, Borderlands Game of the Year edition, which has um, all the, all the uh, DLC and, and the uh, physical map, which is uh, really nice. Next, I got the uh, 2K Essential Collection, which has Bioshock, Borderlands, and XCOM. And as you know, I have multiple copies of each three of these games, but it's just nice to uh, get the, uh, them all in one pack. Uh, got the uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed for $2.99 from GameStop. And I thought this was a really good game. And uh, for that price, how could you beat it? Got a, uh, another sealed copy of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for the 360. Again, it's a Metal Gear game, so I had to pick it up. I also got this, um, the, uh, the Saints Row 4 Collector's Edition. Um, I f I'm drawing a blank on the name of it. I think it's the Game of the Generation Edition, um, but that's a huge Collector's Edition, and uh, I'll have to show that in another video because I just don't have the room right now to uh, show that. But I did get the uh, Game of the Generation Edition. And the uh, final 360 game I got is uh, one actually one of my uh, one of my uh, big games I was big into uh, quite a while ago, and that was the uh, Serious Sam collection. I actually remember playing this when uh, the first Serious Sam came out back on the PC like 10 years ago. So it comes with the HD versions of one and two. It also comes with Serious Sam three, the expansion Jewel of the Nile, and the uh, side scroller uh, Serious Sam Double D. XXL. Very good collection. I think I picked this up for like $23 from GameStop. And I highly recommend it. You get pretty much like four games for the price of one. Uh, all right. I also got an Xbox One in addition to the PS4. And that's because the Xbox is my preferred um, console. So I got the uh, day one edition of Rise Son of Rome. And there really, really isn't a main big difference between the uh, standard version of the Day One Edition, except the uh, pretty much the uh, shiny box art. I think you get maybe a little bit of DLC, but I think that's about it. Pretty decent game. Thought it was a little bit boring, a little repetitive. I also got the uh, limited edition of Forza Motorsport 5, which comes in the steel tin. You also get quite a bit of DLC with getting this, so you get a uh, limited edition car pack, a Day One car pack, a uh, VIP. Uh, membership including exclusive cars and a two times reward acceleration, 1250 car tokens, and some logos stickers, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm a big car guy, so I had to get that. And the final Xbox One game I got is Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. And this is the, um, the art book edition, so it comes with uh, an art book. So that's pretty cool. Did get three accessories, and they're all controllers. I got the uh, two uh, limited edition uh, Mario and Luigi um, Wiimotes. Those are pretty cool. I'm just going to keep them sealed right now because I actually don't have a Wii U yet, but I'm going to get one eventually. But those are pretty cool. They might be... I haven't seen too many of them. I think they were just sold at GameStop, if I'm not mistaken. And the final thing I got is the Titanfall limited edition uh, Xbox One controller, which has the uh, Titanfall skin on the controller. So that's pretty cool. So that's it. And I do have some new videos coming out very soon. And I do appreciate you guys uh, bearing in with me. I know it's been a while, but I will have some new content coming out very soon. Thank you very much. Have a good day.